Incoming uh, Twitter CEO Linda Yaccarino tweeting yes Saturday for the first time since being named to the job. She said that she's committed to the future of the platform and said the user feedback is vital to that future. Yaccarino, of course, joining Twitter from her job as the head of global advertising right here uh, from our parent company, NBC Universal, and also uh, tweeting yesterday about Mother's Day, by the way, a belated happy Mother's Day to all the superwomen, uh, both at the table here, to my wife and family and everybody in the audience. Thank you very much. Did you, have a, good, did you have a good Mother's Day? I did. I had a wonderful one. So, uh, but, but by the way, Twitter, so there's a whole brouhaha brewing on Twitter about this Linda Yaccarino move and whether she's, I mean, can I just say, I know Linda Yaccarino. I know. I, and, I know. And I just disagree vehemently with the Twitterati who seem to think that she is, and look, maybe because I've been to Davos before, I don't think that she's part of some kind of weird, uh, crazy, cr crazy group, but uh, there are people in, in Twitter land who seem to be quite upset about that part of her background, which makes they no will, sense to me. They, they're wrong. And they, it, it, that group that you're talking about, and I'm not a member of any group, but they will not be. The group you're talking about that are wondering and disappointed, they will not be. But can I just say, because she's, she's Linda Yaccarino is one of a kind, and, yeah. and the truth is, she's a great operator, right? And she's great at creating great at creating revenue, and the advertising community loves her, yeah, she's and very that generous. is the entire point. Which, and if you have Elon on one side working on the technology piece of it, and you know the, the engineering side, right. and then you have her as the sort of operator dealing with the advertising side and the revenue side. That's, that's okay. exactly what he needs. Right, and, and the things that have uh, sort of ostracized Elon from people that previously loved him, that contingent, you know, the one we're talking about, the woke contingent, I guarantee you Elon and Linda have talked about that, and she, they are simpatico on how he feels about free speech. But you know what, how they're simpatico, all of those but I'll tell you, the, they're simpatico, but the other pieces that Linda, I think, actually has managed to straddle the other side of that world and is considered... She had to. She was no, at NBC. <laughs> yes, but within the context of Twitter, what does she care about? She cares about selling advertising. If right. you care about selling advertising, you care about brand safety and all this type, kind of stuff. Right. And the question so is, all how do you... And I think she's going to be able to thread the needle. I, I do. I'm, act, I'm long Linda Yaccarino. Uh -huh. I think she's going to be able to f help him figure this out. Just saying. It was a, but but it was a, we know her. I, I've, I've whispered to her at parties. That's all I'm saying. We've, like, whispered to each other at parties because we don't want, you know. Well, you, you keep that to yourself. It's <laughs> whispering. You, you well, I'm not saying what we whispered about, but I'm just saying that I don't she even, is not what, she, what these people are making her out to be.